Okay, here's our first relationship analysis question for the SAT chemistry subject test. Now remember, with these questions, we want to figure out first, is this statement a true statement or is it false? Then is this statement a true statement or is it false? If they're both true, then you have to consider is the second statement the reason or the explanation for the first statement? And that's only if they're both true. So let's go ahead and look at this one. The combustion of fuels containing sulfur leads to the production of acid rain. So is that true? Well, this is one of these factoids that I'm going to reference a lot. Uh, by factoid, I just mean like a fact or something you need to know or memorize or learn for the SAT chemistry subject tests that is somewhat conceptual sometimes. But most of the time, it's going to be just something to remember, something that they love asking about. And acid rain is something that the SAT chemistry test loves to ask about. So is this true? Well, yes, this, this part is true. This is that factoid to remember. Basically, when you've got sulfur in fuels or whatever, and you burn that, you get sulfur dioxide that forms. That sulfur dioxide is a gas. It goes into the atmosphere. Now, some of it pairs up with water in the atmosphere to create sulfurous acid. Oops. Uh, it's a weak acid. It's not as strong as sulfuric, but obviously it can still lower the pH of rainwater so much that it would actually do some damage. Uh, however, in the, kind of the upper levels of the atmosphere, this SO2 actually combines with uh, some oxygen to form uh, sulfur trioxide, and that sulfur trioxide uh, mixes with water, dissolves in water to form H2SO4, sulfuric acid. And this is the uh, really dangerous stuff because it's really, as you know, a strong acid, and therefore when it dissociates, so when we go from H2SO4 to H plus and the ion, this H plus is what causes the acidity, and that therefore causes damage to buildings and plants and all kinds of things. So first statement is true. Uh, second statement, sulfur oxides form acid solutions in water. Yes, this is literally what we just said here, right? So here's one, here's another. These are sulfur oxides that when mixed with water or dissolve in water, form these acidic solutions. So they're both true. Now we ask the question, is the first an explanation, or sorry, excuse me, is the second an explanation for a first? And yes, right? This tells us why uh, acid rain is produced when you combine, when you burn uh, sulfur fuels because the sulfur oxides form and therefore create acid solutions.